the date of October, uh, that, that's, uh, you know, I'm thinking, how was it that you came to this conclusion? Were you engaged in some sort of astrological, um, <laughs> some sort of astrological calculation or something? Uh, yes, yes. You did that all yourself, did you? You've, you've been no, along? Okay. No, I did not do it all myself, ah, no. It was somebody else. I'm listening. To, I'm listening to other people who are masters. Mm. They are absolute masters mm. at the subject of calculating what, what is going to happen in the future. And they have told me things over the years that were happening exactly the way they said it was going to over and over and over again. Now they're telling me, watch what's going to happen in October, because it's going to affect the whole planet. The whole world is going to be affected. Just watch it. It's going to start in October 1st, and it's going to affect the whole Earth. It's going to be so terrible and so bad, because the Earth itself is going to end up in the constellation of the uh, the uh, scorpion of Scorpio, and the king over Scorpio is Mars. God, Mars is the god of war. Scorpions are deadly. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about a deadly, deadly war. Something is coming to America in October. Some kind of a deadly experience we're going to we're going to go through. It's going to be a horrible and terrible experience for the whole world, and it's coming in October, the, the last week in September, the first week in this October, and it's going to last for a year and a half. <clears throat> so from this October to next October, that's a year, and then six months more. It's going to take a month. It's going to take a a year and six months for this horrible tragedy to blow over. And when it's gone, what will be left will be all the world will be digitized, like Bitcoin. It's going to be a digital currency all over the earth, everywhere, so that if you don't fit, if you complain about what's going on, they will just take your computerized number out of the system, and you cannot work any longer. You cannot buy any longer. Your your bank account, your credit cards will all be digitized. And you, you are going to wake up one morning and find out that your number, your digital number, has been taken and deleted from the computers of the banks, and your number no longer exists, and therefore you can no longer buy or sell Anywhere in the world, you can't do any business, and you it doesn't matter. You just won't be able to do anything, period, because of being digitized, and that's what's coming. Well, uh, this, what Jordan— we're doing right now. Right, and this sounds very much in line with what uh, Christians have been talking about for quite some time, the rise of the Antichrist, as it were, um, at 666, you know, to me, go ahead. Yes, uh, this is, am I off base, missing the point here? Or is this? No, this no, is no, no, you're exactly right. About. This is what we've been talking about, Christians have been talking about coming, right. <clears throat> but nobody realized it would be digital. Today on television, everything on TV is digital. Today on radio, thing, everything is digital. Everything in the world is digital. We are doing all of our banking every day. Banking is done digitally on the digital. And so our whole world has become digitized. And therefore, they're going to eventually, from this October to the next October, it's going to be one year. <clears throat> that we're going to have to live under tyranny. COVID then 2020. Months, Can you see it? Yeah, Co COVID exactly. 2020. Or, yeah. <laughs> COVID, it, there's how many COVIDs now? 19 and uh, now the 2020 coming. Uh, 
it'll be arriving soon enough. You know, and the thing about it too, I'm not sure if you've heard of this or not, but a lot of people with COVID apparently asymptomatic. They don't seem to be sick or anything, um, you know, any too dramatic with the symptoms, big fever or runny nose or, or a dry cough, I, I think is what one of the symptoms, but uh, there's a whole wide spectrum to the from one extreme to the other with uh, respect to what's going on here. But clearly, uh, Bill Gates and um, his like have, you know, this Dr. Fauci, uh, you know, big push for the, the vaccines and and the doctor, just... the, the, the doctor that's pushing this is, is himself a Jesuit. Fauci he is a graduate of a Jesuit university. He's a Jesuit. Oh, really? So keep that in mind. Yeah, Jesuits gave you all of the things that are happening in the world today can be traced back to the Jesuits. The Jesuits are a priesthood in the Roman Catholic Church. A lot of people don't know that, but the Jesuits mm-hmm. are the people who are controlling your government, they're controlling your medical. They're controlling your business, your banks, and everything else in your military, period, is all being controlled and run behind the scenes by Jesuits. The Vatican. The most of the people, the, the Vatican, uh-huh. the Vatican itself is now in the hands of Jesuits. The Vatican. The Jesuits. The Vatican, Jordan, is the largest, the world's largest landowner, from what I understand. Is that not the case? That's right. Queens. That's exactly right. 